y'all, man. We got Andrew Griffin on Spider Man rumors, uh, and then you got a new film of Tick 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 some shit. Boom. So, but you know, I you know I you know I just wanted to see what he gonna say about Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. You really man, no cap. But then, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's why I wanna know what he gonna say about Spider Man. You know what I mean? That other shit, I don't give a fuck about. But um, yeah though, man. But hey, like it up to so my channel, y'all, and um, yeah, let's. Get it. Tony winner and Oscar nominated star Andrew Garfield. He is using his many, many talents, some newly discovered in the new film called Tick Tick Boom. It's He's starring as the creator of the musical Rent, Jonathan Larson, and it's based on the autobiographical musical of the same name. It follows John's life as a young theater composer in the 90s, struggling to finish his boundary-breaking musical. Andrew, good morning, good morning. Good morning. You know what I love about you? Yes. Like. So, okay, so here's the thing. You say you don't know how to sing, you don't know how to play piano. Lin-Manuel Miranda says, hey, I think you might be the right guy for my my movie. And you say, how long is it gonna be till we start filming? Because you're planning to learn those things. Well, yeah, like any good actor, I, I lie on my CV. <laughs> and he says, you know, I want you to do this. And I say, well, how long, yeah, how long do you need? And, and he says, well, a year. And I'm like, yeah, I can probably do, do that kind of stuff. And yeah, sure, yeah, I can ride a horse, I can sing, I can play piano, I can, yeah, do all so this So you stuff. learned it all? You learned how to play piano and sing in that year's time? I did, <laughs> and what a privilege that is. And, and, and like, you know, how lucky I am that I got to do it through this amazing man's music, Jonathan Larson's music, and so, so much undiscovered music as well. And there, there are songs in this musical that people are gonna be surprised by, even people who are big fans of Jonathan Larson, so yes. Yeah, so. of, of all people to say that to, Lynn manuel All I can't hear for is, 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 is Spider-Man, no cat. That's all I can't hear for is Spider-Man, no cat, man. Well, Miranda, I mean, Broadway <laughs> legend, and you're like kind of ripping, sure, I can sing. Yeah. There was a moment I read that he came and watched one of your rehearsals mm -hmm. he singing. In. Because he, was he thinking like, all right, I gotta make sure he actually can oh, sing. I yeah, might have to yeah. recast this role. Oh, of course, because he didn't—he didn't want to be haunted by the ghost of, of Jonathan Larson for the rest of his <laughs> life. Going, Why did you let this person play me? Um, so yeah, I was rehearsing with um, his one of his music um, his music people, Kurt Crowley, who's an amazing um, person, and I was doing the first couple of phrases of the first number, thirty ninety. And it was just me and Kurt alone in a room, or so I thought. But Lynn had kind of snuck, snuck in. in. Oh. And uh, the first I knew of that was that uh, his shoe flew across <laughs> my face. <laughs> and then he was looking at me so happy and excited. And he shouted at me. He was like, Andrew Garfield, you can sing. And I do oh. not have to recast you. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> he yeah. was more relieved than you. Oh, totally, uh, yeah. Wow. So then we were kind of off <laughs> damn. the races. I knew when <laughs> yeah, the, damn. the shoe flew, we were in a, in a good place. Is that like a thing? To throw that, a shoe is, that is like a good sign? It's a weird Lin-Manuel Miranda. I don't think it's a theater thing. I don't think oh. it's a musical theater. I think it's just a Lin-Manuel Wait, I don't throw a shoe. <laughs> Damn. Shit, throw a shoe. <laughs> is that like a thing? To throw that, a shoe is that, is that like... like... I'm gonna throw a shoe at me, but I'm beating the ass, no cap. Real side. shit. It's a weird Lin-Manuel Miranda. Name I don't think it's a theater thing. I don't think it's a musical theater. I think it's just a Lin-Manuel Miranda thing. It's just a Lin-Manuel Miranda thing. Get along with Spider-Man, man. I'm gonna hear you say some lies about Spider-Man. I agree with that youth for being good. He'll take his shoe off, he'll put it somewhere. Or he'll throw it. Or yeah, well, I like it. It's a spectacular performance, and I thought what made it even more touching was you just you dedicated this performance of you ha as you have others to your mom who passed away not too long ago. Yeah. And oh, RB, man. man, that's sad. You that's just sad. were telling me and Savannah you love to talk about her. Yeah, I, if I I only want to talk about her now because you know, I don't know, I don't know. I think grief is all the unexpect, unexpressed love. I think that's what it feels like. Oh, there she is, yeah. Look at that gorgeous. She loved that green jumpsuit. That yeah. was like, she felt really powerful in that green jumpsuit. It's the kind of thing she wouldn't usually wear. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, so for me, it's it, grief is unexpressed love. So, and I'm never going to be able to express fully the love that I have for my for my mother, the gratitude I have that, that I got given the best mother around. So uh, <laughs> it's it's an it's a never and and for John. You know, for me, it's like we all leave this life with an unfinished song. No matter, no matter how much of our song we get out, it's never going to be fully done. And and it was the same for my mother. So I get to, I get to continue singing her song for her, in my life. And um, and and I get to do it through through John's unfinished song as well. 
uh, for all of us. So I, I just, it's, I'm, I feel very, very lucky. Well, other than Lynn manuel Miranda, she was the really the first yeah. one to discover you and yeah. your talent. And seeing that maybe drama and acting, yeah. maybe that was going to be your calling. Yeah, she that's saw right. that in she you. She did, even though she was destined, making me maybe destined for a life of poverty <laughs> <laughs> as, a, mm -hmm. as an out of work actor. Yeah, maybe that was going to be your calling. Yeah, she saw right. that in she you. She did, even though she was destined, making me maybe destined for a life of poverty. <laughs> as, a, as an out-of-work actor, she 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 was like, I'd rather my son be happy than um, than than rich or than um, you know it, within the status quo. You know, I, yeah, I was I was I was an athlete, and then I gave that up, and then I was studying academia, and I kind of didn't connect with the things that were being presented to me in this kind of provincial place that I was brought up in the south of England. And it was her that really saw that I was struggling and said, well, why don't you look at some creative things? Like, well, I tried clay molding and I wasn't very good. And I tried painting and I wasn't very good. I tried music and I was fine. And then it was the last thing I tried was theater. And, uh, and she, she kind of hung in there with me um, and, and was the first person to put me on that kind of path. So I'm indebted to her forever. Wow. Well, you know they're talking Oscar buzz for your performance. Yes, I don't they know are. if that embarrasses you or pleases you to hear. Yeah. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather me take a shoe and throw it at you? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. I would much rather be knocked out by okay. your high heel right Wait, now. Wait, we do have to ask you about Spider-Man. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Let's go. Spider-Man. Let's get it. Yeah. Everybody's you know saying. Have to. Everybody's saying there. You may be in it. There's a cameo. Why don't you just go? Just look at his face. It's like, oh shit. Here we go again. Oh shit. Here we go again. Go ahead and confirm. Go ahead. <laughs> I just make it easy. I let's just, it. let's just end it right now. Why yeah, speculate? Yeah, just say it. Yes, I'm in this family. Come on. Come on. I'm so really it. good at your jobs, but I'm better at mine. <laughs> I, um, no, I listen. I, I, I'm not in the film. I, I love. Oh, man. You're not in the film. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> man, he good. He good. He good. At it. He good actor, man. He, you know, he's a good actor, though. No cap. You know what I'm saying? He's a good actor, though, man. He's a good actor. Spider-Man I always have. I, um, no, I listen, I, I, I'm not in the film. I, I love Spider-Man, I always have. I was so happy to, to, to have played the part. And, and I'm so excited to see what they do with the third one, just like uh -huh. you guys are, to be honest. Uh -huh. No, that's not like a diplomatic answer. Yeah. Like, I really, really mean it, like, I love See, no, nah, it is, a, yeah. Maybe, you know, that's your script. You gotta say that shit. <laughs> I love Tom Holland, yeah. I love John Watts, I love Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige and what they've done with those movies and that character, because it's, you know, it's an important character to me. So I'm just really excited to see what happens in the third one, as you guys are, I can Andrew, see as well. well you done, are Andrew. a delight. Thank you Thanks, so Andrews. much, and congratulations yeah. on all your success. Thank you so and much. And new talent. Yes, right. indeed. Tick, tick, boom, by the way, in select theaters right now, streaming on Netflix. <laughs> Look at his face when he's... <laughs> oh, man, that's not what I want to hear, though. Angle, I, I, I just want to hear that, that part right there, man. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I want to enter in the way I don't have much in this mess. Let's see the comments. I know y'all probably can't see the comments. Um, that was that his, his body, yeah, you can tell about body language. He's trying to hold, he, he holding that shit back. You can tell by his face. When he said Spider No Way, he said when he heard that Spider No Way Home, she was like, oh shit. Damn. I got to talk about this shit again. But, um, yeah, though, babe, leave a like to my channel. My channel hit the bed for Nuke. You know, let me know in the comments below. He's still lying. Don't let me know in the comment down below. But yeah, I'm out. And um, yeah, peace.